we're back anyway. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another Moto vlog. I've still got like five of these to edit. I am slacking. I just had a pretty meh week, I'll be honest with you. My my head is all over the shop. Um, there's a lot going on. Uh, there is a lot going on um, compared to what I don't. I can't remember what I was talking about last time, but yeah, there's a lot that have changed. Um, Hopefully, I will have had a mortgage. Not even going to risk that. Um, yeah, we've applied for a mortgage. We found a house we like the look of. So we're just kind of uh, seeing what we hear now. Um, I'm really hoping we get it. We've done everything we need to. The mortgage advisor knows all they need to know. The solicitors know all they need to know. The estate agent knows all they need to know. Everyone, as a collective, knows what they need to know. Um, we're just waiting on... Waiting on other people now to do their jobs. And it's kind of... I think it, it's really stressed me out a lot. Because it's like... You apply for this, right? Then you need to apply for a mortgage, so you're speaking to a mortgage advisor, and then you get the mortgage advisor's company speak to you, and you have no idea who they are, so now you're speaking to three different people. Then the estate agents need to know everything. So there's a fourth different company, and then you've got solicitors that get involved, and it's just... You know, oh yeah, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need proof of this, I need proof of that, I need this. Um... I don't know why I said thanks. Didn't even acknowledge the thanks. You didn't even need them. No, I bother. Um, and yeah, I've had phone call after phone call. I've had two mortgage advisors talk to me, even I have no idea who the first one is. It's just, it's just pissing me off. It's not even pissing me off. Like I said, it's stressing me out. It's, I don't really get stressed very often. I kind of, I think I'm quite a calm person who's easily annoyed. Like my. I was thinking about this earlier, I was like, I, I am quite calm. Go on. You're basically sticking out in the way anyway. Um, yeah, I'm quite a chill, calm person. You know, I don't really get much, much gets to me. Maybe it is a bit of stress, I don't know. Maybe it's like, it's just another phase in life, isn't it? You know, you kind of, life is a ladder and you're constantly going up and up and up. And I feel like I've, I've been on this step of the ladder for so long. Now that I might be moving up another step, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's a bit stressful. And like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a side of the world that I've never really experienced before. You know, this is a big, big step. It's a big, uh, I know it's part of life and obviously you have to do it if you want to have your own place. I'm aware that it, you know, it has to be done, it doesn't make it any easier though. Well, I said on top of that, but psoriasis or skepsis flaring up all over the fucking shop, so I'm covered in itches and not sleeping very well, it's just, yeah, it's not fun, it's just all at the moment. And then obviously if you're not sleeping you get stressed easier because you're tired, so yeah, my head is a little bit all over the shop, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Hopefully we get it. You know, if I get it, it would make my life so much easier, make my life so much better. Um, I do want my own house. I want something that I can get, come home to every night and go, this is mine. You know, I've worked for this. I've earned this. I've, you know, I, I, it's mine. And it's a really, really nice house to be fair. It's, um, it's, a, it's a three bed. It's not got like a, I wouldn't say a traditional garden, oh, you're not going to have six here today, oh, we're not feeling this, are we not? Fuck you then, I'm starting to really get on my fucking nerves. Um, the garden is, the garden is massive, but it's it's not grass, it's all hemp, it's like stones and there's a big layer of astroturf in the middle of it and it looks really nice and so that's something I don't have to maintain because astroturf and stones do not fucking grow, so that's a big win. Um, I'll make a 
sure that was on. Yeah, so there's no maintenance needed. It's got a big drive, so if I ever pass my driving test, you know, I've got more than enough space for a car. Um, I would only get a small car anyway. I don't need a big car. Uh, I don't want a big car, even if I do pass my test. With a little Corsa or a Fiesta or something like that, something small. Um, and yeah, the only thing it didn't have was a garage, so I'm planning, hoping, that I can build my own garage. Ooh, straight away. Um, that's kind of part of my plan. Um, you can buy like buildable garages from Halfords, but I don't know if I would like brick and mortar my own garage or not. But even if I did, you know, I could do that and then I could have another room on the top floor so I could make it a, a four bed instead of a three bed. There's so much shit involved that, you know, stuff like that I don't mind because that's not like, uh, I don't want to say it's not realistic, but it's not likely to happen anytime soon. So I don't have to stress about it. So, you know, it's your own house, you do what you want to it. If you want to make this, build that. If you want to do this, do that. Fantastic. Um, and obviously having my own house means there's less people, there's less interruptions, there's less shit involved. Like at the minute there's seven of us in this house. It's me, I've got three siblings, stepmom, uh, sorry, mum, stepdad, and Caitlin. So there's seven of us. So it's a very, very busy house. Um, and you know, obviously everyone's on the Wi-Fi, there's Alexa's in all the rooms, so that's why the internet's not the best. Uh, but me having my own place means streaming is a big yes big yes and it's yeah just more time for, for playthroughs and gameplays and i'm not in a rush i can't wait i really can't i'm so looking forward to it it should be amazing um, and yeah like i said it just gives me more time to do what i want to do because there's a lot i want to do but i just don't have the time to um, that's kind of like the biggest pain in my arse at the moment is time. I just don't have time to do anything. I don't have time to do what I want to do. Um, if I want to play games, I've got to strategically time it to do it when I want. Um, and you know, it's, it's just like, what, no one's in? Nobody's in at all? Alright, I'll get on the game. Um, oh, oh, you want to play the? Oh, I want to play Caesar. Okay, I'll play Caesar. But I want to do this. You know, when, when Caitlin's in, I mean, I've said before, if Caitlin's in, I don't play anything because it's not fair for me to get it, you know, for her to get back after work and then be go, oh, yeah, sit in the corner quietly, please, because I want to record a playthrough because, you know, you don't want that. Nobody wants that. So, yeah, it should be good. I'm really looking forward to it. I want to do like a, a full-on gaming boy room. It's going to be my room, and no one else is going to be allowed in it. And it's going to have everything on display. And it's, oh, the amount of ideas I've got in my fucking dog is ridiculous. I can't wait. And that's provided we get it, you know. So all of these plans are well and good, but we might not get this house in the end. So you know, we, we're just waiting now. That's that's the annoyance. We're just we're just waiting to hear back from somebody else and you know like I say they might just come back and say oh yeah no, someone else has offered more than you so uh, you know do one yeah no it's obviously not going to be quite that extreme but we might not get it there's no guarantee so you know we'll see Are we going to get caught by the lights? Are we going to get caught by the lights? Are we going to get caught by the lights? No, we're fucking not. I'm not waiting now. Fuck you. <coughs> so, yeah. <coughs> um, I don't really think anything else is going on. You know, we're not really doing anything differently. We've got the Borderlands playthroughs that we're... <coughs> me and Caitlin are doing together. I'm playing through Dead Space. On the Xbox 360, well, I'm playing it on the Series X, but it's the 360 version. That's been a lot of fun. I love Dead Space. And I'm also playing Dead Space on my ROG Ally in bed. So I'll go into bed at half seven with no clothes on, and Caitlin will be there with no clothes on, and I'll be playing Dead Space. And I get to see that. It's, oh, it's a good time. 
And I was saying, I can't remember if I was doing it in the three. I can't remember if I was doing it in one of the Dead Space parts. I was like, I would really like to do some Rogue Ally videos because I think that. I obviously know it's not like a one of a kind thing, but I think the concept of a Rogue Ally is fucking incredible. And what that thing can do, for what it is, it's ridiculous. So I obviously only have the Ally. I mean, there's millions of handhelds that do what it's doing. You know, you have the Steam Deck and all of this other stuff. But that Rogue Ally, with it being the only thing I own, it's fucking amazing. I can't believe they've got a PC and a fucking handheld thing. And like this, it, it's not overly small, like it's um, um, it's no bigger than a switch, right, it's no smaller than a switch, it's literally the same size as a switch, so the screen is more than capable of, you know, you can, you can see what you're doing, and the fact that it can play PC games and Xbox games, I mean I'm playing Dead Space 2 on like ultra ultra no, I know Dead Space is a PS3 gen like game. I'm fully aware. It's an old game, but it looks incredible. It looks amazing. And then like I was playing Starfield in Spain. Starfield is a brand new Xbox like open world massive game that you can, you know, you're building ships and exploring all these different planets and yeah, like it's obviously not a fantastic graphical game but it's still a brand new game and it doesn't look ugly and the ROG is handling it like a fucking kick no lag no frame rate drops no you know the textures don't look like play though it looks incredible and I'm playing it on a handheld it's it's wild it's crazy and obviously that side of like the tech stuff I, I wouldn't normally have bothered with it I kind of bought the alloy for a Spain thing like I was buying it to play something in Spain and it's one of the best purchases I've ever made in my life. It is pricey, don't get me wrong. It's really, really expensive. But, for what you get, it's ridiculous. Like, I, I haven't played, like, a... I don't know how well it would handle something like Warzone, or like a bigger multiplayer game. I've not played Halo Infinite. Um, mainly because I don't have the space on the, the storage thing to... Um, to download games like that. Um, it only has uh, like a hundred and something gigabytes of storage, which is micro SD card expandable. So I think we it's Black Friday today. It's Friday as I'm recording this, so it's Black Friday. So happy Black Friday day. Uh, go and enjoy spending all that money. It's my payday, which means uh, I'm going to have no money tomorrow. There's a lot going on. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping to get a micro SD card. I think Caitlin said she'd get me one, but if she doesn't, there was like a 512 gigabyte one for... for I don't know if this is a 30 or a 40, I can't remember. Just riding up my arse, I'm going to assume it's a 40. Um, what did that sign say? Um, but yeah, uh, there's a, a sale for a 512 gigabyte SD card on Amazon for 20, 22 or 28 pounds, which, you know, is fucking peanuts really, so. I have a terabyte one somewhere, but it's not the best. I, I bought it when they were kind of just up and coming, and I think I paid like 15 pounds for it, and yeah, it's, it's really not the best, so I don't really know how that would handle games. But even that, like, we're playing full on console games on a micro SD card it's, it's technology guys it's ridiculous um, so yeah I, I would be oh, this is definitely a thing um, what was I going to say yeah so I, I would really like to do some ally videos and I'm kind of not diversifying the channel but I would like to do different things like that's why I like the the halls and stuff like that I've kind of not done it more but well I suppose I have done it more because I've been able to but that's why I've been doing stuff like that just because it's a little bit different and then like the collection stuff you know I, I started buying I say I started buying I bought one Lego set and I was like oh can I make a video on this just to do something different and that's kind of why I love doing this because it's different you know I'm not sitting at a table on a desk gaming I'm, I'm doing something different and it gets me out and it's quite nice and I'd like to do some live stuff but I'm not really sure how well that sits on YouTube and with me as a person and that kind of stuff so 
we'll see, we'll see what's going on with that. Um, but yeah, the bike stuff has been great, and we're obviously approaching the time of the year when this is probably a bit less feasible than maybe it, it was a few months ago. Don't you fucking edge out, you cunt. You fucking BFW driver. Um, yeah, we're kind of approaching that time of the year now where stuff like this is not not really a good idea. Um, so we'll see what what happens. Obviously, days like today, it's it's quite cold, which put another layer on. You know, I've got two hoodies, a coat, and my bike coat, and two pairs of thermal leggings on, and my my uh, leather trousers. So you know, the cold never really bothers me. And that is a frozen song, but yeah, the cold never affected me anyway, so I'm not really asked about being cold or you know, whatever. Just put a coat on, be cold, shut up. Um, and I'm right now, I'm going to the bike shop to get this rear tyre change because <laughs> it's bad, this tyre is shocking. <laughs> um, I am sliding all over the place. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying thanks to people. I don't know why I bother. Oh, bike. These traffic lights can kiss my ass. I fucking hate them. They stay green for about three minutes. Oh, apart from today, obviously. Never mind. No, I'm not waiting. All right. Normally they're on for about two seconds and then they change. Um. So yeah, that that this tire really needs doing. It's it's shocking. I am sliding whilst turning. Um, I know it, when it went for its service, you said you will need to do that under 500 miles. But obviously that was just like a that's what I'm looking at. And so we can't really say anything specific. So um, yeah, it's uh, it needs it really badly because I cannot turn this thing for the life of me. It's quite painful. <coughs> so that's what we're doing now. I'm going to have a walk around. And do what, what is what. What is going on here? Okay. I'm trying to work out what that is. Is that an MT? Not sure. Might be. And yeah, life is good. You know, like I said, other than you know me being a bit of a bit of a, a bit of mental spaghetti, you know, which is unfortunately, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. It's I don't like talking about it because I'm, I try and be quite positive when I do stuff like this. I know I rage a lot, but my rage comes from a place of love. <laughs> I love siege, but I fucking hate it. <laughs> <coughs> Me. What's that? See, I'm going to be nice and let this guy go, and he's going to be sitting here for ages. You're welcome. I'm not waiting for you. Yeah. <coughs> so yeah, that's it's um yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really deal with that kind of stuff well to be fair in the first place, because I don't normally have to, so I don't really I don't really know how to deal with it. And like I said, all this kind of extra flare up might be because I'm stressed. They normally do say, you know, are you stressed? And I'd normally I'd say, no, I don't really know what stress is. I still don't know what stress is. You know, I'm not really like, oh, I hope I get this house. So I'm not sleeping at night because, oh, I'm thinking about this. I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm not doing anything any different, you know. I'm, like I said earlier about me being chill and calm. If I get the house, fantastic, it's perfect. If I don't get it, oh, well, there's more. You know, it's not like it's the only place in the world. So I don't really know what is causing it to flare up and what changed my diet 
You know, because that's the one thing most people say, oh, is it your diet if you changed? I'm not eating anything any different, or doing anything any different. I haven't changed my washing stuff, or... So, I don't, I don't know. Basically, I don't fucking know, guys. No idea. <clears throat> I mean, that's something like, like eczema and sore spots is something I've dealt with for my whole life, so... Ooh, I'm in neutral. <clears throat> Pretty sure I just made an illegal move. Yeah, no, that was definitely illegal. <laughs> Sorry. That was, that was my fault. I saw the sign and panicked. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, I learned this one there because 